Imagine getting rid of 90% of what you own. Wait, ah! what? <laughs> that would open up a lot of space, creating a minimalistic home. Okay, I'm not actually going to ask you to do that. I do wonder if you need all the items you currently have in your space. How many times did you actually need that loose wire from five years ago? Probably never. Decluttering your home doesn't have to mean getting rid of everything, but it does require that you only leave things that serve a purpose. And yes, the purpose can merely be to make you happy. Let's talk about 10 benefits of decluttering in the hopes of motivating you to rid your home of clutter that you don't need. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. As a working mama, I am always looking for simple and easy ways to keep my home clutter free. If you're a working mama and you want to successfully survive work life and mommyhood, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Let's jump right into the benefits of decluttering and some might be quite unexpected. Be sure to let me know in the comments when you have your first aha moment. Number one benefit of decluttering is it will actually increase your energy level. Look around your home. Do you find yourself feeling weighed down, not floating on clouds, light, airy, and fluffy, but rather shackled to the floor or possibly drowning? You know that feeling when you just can't breathe. What kind of mood do you think that you wake up to when you have all of this clutter? When the moment you open your eyes in your bed, you are met with clutter everywhere. That does not set the tone for an energized day. Number two, it actually decreases your stress level. I think it's safe to say that we all have more than enough stress in our lives. Our kids, our job, our family, friends, the parking ticket that you got this morning. Life is full of stress. And if you have a lot of clutter, what it does is it magnifies your stress level. Clutter can trigger the release of the stress hormone cortisol, which can increase anxiety. Many studies have shown that clutter can create prolonged stress which sets our bodies into a prolonged state of fight or flight when the system is activated for long periods of time this leads to a series of physical and psychological problems how can you begin to sustain overall health when you are constantly fighting off stressors so get rid of that clutter number three decluttering decreases your anxiety Nothing worse than being ambushed by stimuli. And if you already suffer from anxiety, your clutter is actually making your anxiety worse. It's amplifying it. All these things that we spend money on, all these things that we have to clean, take care of, that takes our time. Having clutter naturally overwhelms us because it is a constant reminder of things we have to do that we didn't have time for. Decluttering alleviates this when your home is clutter free and you only hold on to items that you need and those that bring you joy. I love the KonMori method of decluttering for this one. For a full length tutorial, you can check out this video here. Another powerful motivator for decluttering is that it reduces decision fatigue. As moms, let's face it, we have a ton of decisions to make each and every single day from the moment that we wake up. Having a clutter free home gives you a reduction in the amount of decisions you need to make at home. There just aren't that many things that need our attention. Not as many things that need to be fixed, cleaned, dusted, and taken care of. The to-do list is substantially reduced. How motivating is that, moms? We now have less to do on a daily basis if we maintain a clutter-free home. More time for fun. If you're getting value from this video, contribute to my coffee addiction by smashing that like button and let me know on a scale of one to 10, how much clutter do you have in your home? Next, decluttering improves productivity. When our homes have a ton of clutter, our brains naturally find it difficult to focus on a specific task. We are scattered brain. A clean, clutter-free environment is a vessel for increased productivity, free of unnecessary distraction. Tasks take much faster to complete, allowing you the five minute break that you always wanna take, but just never have time to. Decluttering promotes self-care. Ever tell yourself, I just don't have time to self-care? Probably each and every day. It can be due to you having too many things to take care of inside the home. Having a minimalist home and more so adapting a minimalist lifestyle eliminates that need and most importantly, the time we spend on cleaning, especially. If you can cut down your cleaning time, my hope is that this will open up more room for some daily self-care practices that are so important for us women and moms. 
For a detailed list of self-care tips, you can check out this video here. Decluttering makes you more grateful. It's hard to appreciate all the wonderful things in our lives when we have so much stuff. Ever since I got rid of a lot of what I own, practicing gratitude in the morning has become so much easier. Having less also makes you more present. Enjoying each day instead of focusing on the next sale or item you need or purchase you have to make. I find myself just having a blast with my daughter or chasing my dog or just listening to my family chit chat about their day. Having less actually opened up my eyes to how much I have in life that is not tied to material things. There is so much to be grateful for on a daily basis. Don't get me wrong. I won't deprive myself of something that I genuinely want and need. I just do it in moderation, which leads me into my next benefit of decluttering. It saves you money. Decluttering and then maintaining a clutter-free home will save you a ton of cash. No more going into debt due to items that you really didn't need or were impulse by. I was able to save a ton when I stopped shopping compulsively. The financial freedom that comes out of decluttering is amazing. You become more thoughtful and intentional about your purchases. And when you pair that with gratitude, you often realize you have enough. You will shop less, save more, and be happier for it. Next, decluttering improves your relationship. That one tends to be unexpected. How many times have we snapped at our kids or partners out of stress and anxiety, oftentimes caused by the feelings of being overwhelmed due to all the stuff that surrounds us? Decluttering has had a huge impact on my relationships. Having less no longer takes up my time and energy, which means I am open to play with my daughter so much more. I also no longer feel resentful when my family wants my attention. All the while thinking I have all of this mess and clutter to tend to. Maintaining a clutter-free home will force you to put your attention where it's needed. And that is on building relationships and nurturing the ones that you already have. Decluttering will also help you to be happier in your home. Clutter impacts both your mental and your physical health. When your home is free of clutter, you create an ambiance of happiness and an ability to breathe easily and stress-free. This is peace. A clutter-free home also gives you the benefit of focusing on things you love, such as family, friends, and a lifestyle that is free of shackling you to things. You begin to spend money on adventures rather than things. For help on what to declutter in each and every room, you can grab my free Ultimate Mom's Decluttering Guide. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. There are so many benefits to decluttering and living with less. The list is really endless. Living with less is liberating. It's less stressful and most importantly, the biggest benefit is happiness in your space and in your life. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. As always, good luck on your decluttering journey. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to be good to yourselves.